Hello friends, it's Agnes. Are you ready to craft with me the envelope? Yep, the yellow envelope 9 by 12 that you can find at the Dollar Tree. But before we do that, we need to remove the flap because we don't need it. And here we go. We're going to do a super simple origami. And I'm going to start simply by folding uh, my um, envelope into a little bit over uh, an inch wide pleats. So your goal here is to have at least uh, eight of them, okay? So all seems to be folded, so now let's have fun. Okay, counting is all done, so here we go. Now look what I'm doing. I'm drawing the lines right in between the pleats. So the first one goes on a little angle, go to another one going below, and you just gotta watch slowly how am I drawing. And then of course, I'm going to make a big dent over the two pleats. Then I'm going to make a little line and then another similar line. And of course, another bump. That's how you got to do it. But this time I'm going over one pleat. And then again, a little lines here and there. And I think we will be done. And of course, a little bump all the end. And if you do not know what I'm going to be doing, I am actually trying to create a fall leaf. I know you can replay that pattern uh, again, but I will also have the entire pattern for you right on my blog, so you can just simply copy there. But as you can see, is I'm trying to fold my um, envelope um, in half because I do want it to cut now, mirror the other side. But in order for me to make sure that I'm going to mirror all my pleats, I decided to fold it in half and then pleat it all over again just to reinforce the pleats I'm working with. All is ready, so it's time to cut. You take your sweet time and do your little angles because we are going to make the maple leaf. So those have a very intricate design. So that's what I'm going to go for it. Take your time, make your dents, make sure that you are cutting them nicely. I had absolutely awesome time making those uh, leaves uh, with my mom. They really come, they really come together super quick. Okay, so now look at this. I've got myself a leaf now, one leaf. So now what I'm going to do is again to make sure all is working. I do want it to reinforce. Remember, that was folded in half. So we do need to reinforce whatever the pleats are. Now look at this. Now it's time to have fun. You could um, just simply leave it the way they are. Obviously, if you're using the yellow paper, or you could just highlight like highlight it like me with a little bit of the uh, acrylic paint. Actually, do the splatters on them instead of painting. You could just simply take paint, and I mean, there are so many ways of doing it. So, of course, I've done a little bit of the brown. Now it's time to bring a little bit of my gold and just smear it all around. And of course, use the red, any colors you like. But I know I'm going to just settle with this one with brown and gold. And I would be completely so happy. And of course, I try to only do it on the creases. And then I just decided to go on the whole surface of the leaf. But of course, before you go and start folding, you need to make sure that all is nice and dry. A little action of the uh, heat gun. And of course, now, now I'm all ready to fold this all together. And I do want to make sure that I'm doing it on one side. Okay, all is dry. Now it's time to, again, reinforce my pleats because obviously now we're going to be forming a leaf. I told you this leaf is super easy to make. Okay, so now the pleats are reinforced and now it's time to take a next step. Because I do like to add them um, into the garlands, I am going to use the piece of the raffia. So I just fold my uh, leaf back in half and of course glue the connection side, but just only that connection side. And of course, now check this one out. We've got the first leaf right there. Look how awesome that is. So you know me, I'm not going to stop with this. So I've done the same thing to another one, but this time I'm just going more with brown and I do want to bring a little bit of the uh, red to it. Of course, you can uh, do a nice uh, areas of patterns and everything, but I'm just smearing around. I'm pretending I am in a kindergarten right now, adding a little bit yellow, brown, red, whatever it's in the front of me. I'm just going to create a one mess, but most of all, I'm going to have fun. So now again, the same thing as with the previous one, all is dry. I actually dry this and now I'm reinforcing it again, folding my leaf in half, uh, gluing the ends and that's it. And the leaf is beautifully formed again. 
I kind of a painting right there it actually looks pretty awesome. I have some red streaks, see? It didn't matter. So here's the close-up pictures. Check this one out. The one on the left is made with the gold. The one on the right is actually made with those different colors that I just smeared all over my paper. So I really hope that you did enjoy this project and I so hope that you're going to check my blog for the template uh, for this leaf and keep creating those inexpensive uh, garlands, wreaths, I mean, you name it, even the pumpkin little decoration. I cannot wait to hear uh, what you think about this project. Again, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.